Hi, it's Andy Brown from homergolf.tv. I'm joined with John Richardson, author of Dream On, best-selling book, and also there's to be a movie about your achievement. Being made at the moment, yep. yep. And we're in the, sort of the caddy shack here. It's a bit windy out there on the links, <laughs> but uh, we're going to share with you one golden tip to breaking par, aren't we, John? Yeah, this is a particularly windy day, so one of the things I wanted to try and touch on was a particular picture that I picked up. Um, I just noticed, actually, from, from Golf Monthly, uh, and that picture there, you can see, is of Seve's hands. And if you look really closely at that, you can see just how incredibly light the grip pressure is on that. And that was a little bit of a revelation for me during the year, because whenever I saw that picture in the magazine, I was already starting long down my whole route of Seve worship. But it made me realize, actually, that it, you, know, you need to dig deep into having a look at Seve's short game and trying to understand why he was so good. And the incredible lightness of touch that, that most people would talk about in terms of how you can do you know, your short game well is demonstrated there very, very clearly in that picture. So the tip is, make sure all your chipping and putting is as close as is possible to being as with that really, really, really finger light, feather light grip like Seve had and actually there's quite a revelation when you start to do that when you start to hold your putter and you're, you're doing some chipping and putting with that grip you will find that actually your feel and your sensitivity towards and your understanding your, your ability to get it closer or into the hole will improve quite substantially so the tip is adopt a Seve feather light kind of a grip and see how that works brilliant so if you enjoyed this video click on the link below and there's lots more